I'm Deepak Chopra. You're watching One World with Deepak Chopra coming to you from Deepak Home Base in New York. My very special guest is Fabian. Or Fabian? How do you say it? <laughs> Depends on which part of the world you're from. <laughs> Fabian, <see>. Fabian. <laughs> okay. Cousteau, famous name. He's the first grandson of Jacques Yves Cousteau. He's also a conservationalist. I guess so, yeah, by default. And documentary <laughs> filmmaker. And he learns how to scuba dive at the age of four. I learned how to scuba dive at the age of 50, and I'm now a awesome. certified diver. Awesome. So, so you yeah. are now the eyes and ears of the ocean. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's the best way to meditate, actually. It the is. breathing that you do underwater is, is a meditation by itself. It feels like home. Yes. <laughs> it's very centering. Well, uh, well, we came from there, right? Yes. Speaking of evolution. Whether it's in here or out there, absolutely. It's the same ocean. Mm. So uh, tell me a little bit about growing up and, you know, you come from an illustrious family. The world knows who you guys are. <laughs> I met your sister. Was it your sister? Yeah, my sister, yeah. Sadine, yes. Yeah. yes. So tell me what it was like growing up. Where did you grow up, first of all? I've grown up uh, 25 different places so far, and I, I hope to think I'm still growing, at least yes. in here. Um, and uh, between France and the United States, mostly. Uh, mm -hmm. and on expeditions, on, on vacations, because that was the best place for the family to get together. Yeah. So in strange places, uh, Papua New Guinea, uh, the Red Sea, Australia, New Zealand, uh, anywhere where there was a can fun adventure. Can you dive in the Red Sea or you just float? Well, you can dive in the Red uh, Sea, as a matter of fact, in March. No, the Dead Sea. I mean. Oh, the okay, Dead Sea. Yeah, you can't, yes. <laughs> no, Dead Sea, you, you float, and, and if yeah. you have any cuts, you don't want to be in the you Dead Sea. You don't want to be there, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking something else. <laughs> okay, so you, you've basically been in every ocean in the world. No, and there's still a lot of adventures to be had. Uh -huh. Because if you take our planet as a living space, right. uh, you know, most uh, educators will tell you it represents 72% of the surface. Oh. Yeah. But that's such a two-dimensional view of life, of, of this circulatory system of life. Uh, if you take the third dimension of this living space, the oceans actually represent 99% of our world's living space. Explain that. Well, look <coughs> at, at, at um, where things live. Mm -hmm. On uh, land, they live on a, a veneer. Uh, in the air, it's more of a transient medium. Other than bacteria, nothing actually lives in air. Um, but in the oceans, because of the floatability, you have animals all throughout that water column. And that creates a third dimensional living space. 3.4 billion cubic kilometers of space. Mm -hmm.